What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about some of my most recent sales with the NHL McFarlands that I bought in a recent video for $3,500. And also going to be talking about somebody that did try to scam me with one of these sales. Let's get right into this. So the first sale was actually the one that somebody did try to scam me for. Now at first, they did pick out 37 of these NHL McFarland figures, and they did offer me $750 for those, and I did accept. Now, whenever I was searching for those, since I did have 288 figures, whenever I was looking for theirs, it was taking me quite a bit. Also, because the guy was saying out of the blue as I'm getting them ready, instead of this one, can I get a different one instead? So I'd put that one back and I'd grab a different one that he now wanted. So the number was still 37, but upon looking through all of the ones that he did want and getting them ready, two of them for whatever reason were missing. So now I only had 35 of those figures out of the 37 that he did want. And he did get upset and was pissed off about that because according to him, he only wanted any of the figures because of those two figures. So he only wanted to buy the rest because of those two. And also he was claiming that those figures were super expensive, which they weren't. I looked up sold comps for them. So anyways, now we're down to 35 figures. And I did ask him for those 35, how much are you at now? And he said that he would do it for $500. So we did agree for 35 figures for $500. Then he was talking about uh, me screwing him over since I screwed up apparently that he now wanted another figure included and now he wanted another figure included. So the number went back up to 37 figures and we still agreed on the $500. Now, he lived so far away, he lives over three hours away. So he was actually gonna give a, a friend a call and his friend was gonna come and pick them up. His friend is about a little over an hour away. His friend was gonna pick them up and drive them to him the following weekends. Now, whenever it came to terms of how I was gonna get the money, at first it was going to be, he was gonna send me an e-transfer, then a couple days later, he's like, you know what, I was thinking, let's just do cash. So to me, that's a little bit of a red flag. And then he ultimately decided to go back and just do the e-transfer. So the day I was meeting his friends, he did send me an e-transfer of $500 and I gave them to his friend and then that was the end of it or so I thought. Now at the time I was actually packing these up, I thought something was going to happen. It just felt really fishy that the guy was just going back and forth and was pissed about those two figures and everything else. So whenever I was getting them ready, I was taking photos of every figure I was including and putting in the box as I was boxing them. That way he couldn't have accused me of any going missing or not giving him something that he wanted. So I was taking photos and sending them to him, every one that he wanted, and he said yes to. Another reason I was doing this also is because for example, there was two Alex Ovechkins, and he said he wanted Alex Ovechkin with a red jersey. I had two different versions of those, so he was basically, it was to confirm which one he wanted, so I boxed every figure that he wanted up, and whenever I met with his friend, his friend took them, and the following weekend, like I said, did deliver them to him. Now, I do work overnight, so one day I did after I already, the deal was done, I already got the money, he already got the figures. I did get a voicemail since I work overnights. I didn't get a chance to check the voicemail until I was getting ready for work. But the voicemail, he was pretty angry on the phone and he was accusing me of ripping him off, that figures were missing, and that just was not the case. I gave him everything, I took photos of everything as I boxed them up. So for whatever reason, he's accusing me of not giving him the right figures or some figures that's he wanted were missing for whatever reason. So from my point of view, I don't know if the guy is lying or if after I gave them to his friend, his friend took some of them or put some cheaper ones in. I don't know what might have happened, but something just fell off. And for whatever reason, whenever I went to message him on Facebook, all of the messages were gone. And whenever I tried to search his name, I couldn't find it. So from where I'm sitting, it appears like the guy blocked me on Facebook and I couldn't message him anymore. I couldn't find him on Facebook anymore. And I thought that's weird. If you're accusing me of ripping you off, 
Why are you blocking me and why can't I message you or find you anymore? A couple days later, somebody else messaged me and that person actually messaged me first for all of the figures, but gave me an extremely low price, which I did not agree with and I did not want to sell them that low. So that deal with him didn't work out, but now he was messaging me saying that I ripped off his friend. Now the guy that's trying to scam me is apparently his friend saying that he, that I blocked him, but I ex politely explained that I can't contact him. If you can let me know what figures he apparently says are missing, I will see if I have them, which I knew I didn't have, but he ended up messaging me ones that were the more expensive ones that were included in the lots and again I didn't have them because I took pictures of everything that I boxed up and gave to the guy so it was just one of those situations where the guy either a wanted some money back or B, maybe the friend or somebody took some of those more expensive figures, but he was accusing me of ripping him off and it just was not the case because I had proof of what I did pack up and he agreed to everything that I put in the box at that time. Now, if some were missing after he got them or if he's just lying, that is 100% on him. But did it get the first sale? 37 figures for $500. The next sale was for 10 NHL McFarland figures that was uh, I think they were all goalies and this guy was extremely nice He asked me for a price. I said $25 each for 10 of them That's 250 and he agreed on that price. So he came bought them was extremely happy So $250 for 10 figures and the previous person got $500 for 37 figures. So I gave this guy was paid up, paid what they were worth, which was awesome. So I didn't have to really give a huge deal. A couple days later, he had messaged me saying that um, one of the figures that he wanted, he didn't get. He got a different one for Roberto Lolongo. And where I checked, I'm like, this is the one you asked for, but I do have the other one. I can fully exchange it for you, no problem. The guy thought about it and he's like, you know what? I will buy the other figure from you. So he paid another $25 because he liked both figures. So I got another sale out of him. Then just today I did ship out five more figures. This guy did pay $25 a piece for these as well. So that's $125 shipping, even though it stayed in Ontario and it was light, still cost $30, which he did pay for as well. So he gave me an e-transfer. I took photos of everything that he wanted and he agreed that's what he wanted so i did ship them to him they are on the way and then yesterday i actually sold two more figures one is a wayne gretzky the other one i believe is bobby Orr. um this guy did message a while ago i did offer him 25 dollars each i haven't heard from him so i did follow up thankfully i did because he came back and he was like I would do both of them for $40, so that's $20 each, and I did gladly accept that offer as well. So to me, that was just an amazing deal. So I was like, yeah, I will take that. So $40 as well for those two figures. So right now I'm sitting at $940 in sales, and that's only for 55 figures. So whenever I calculate the first sale, so for $500 divided by 57 sorry, 37 figures, that's $13.50 each for the first guy, the guy that did try to scam me, and I did pay roughly $12 each for these, so I'm only making $1.50 per figure on the first lot, but the others, I'm selling them for $25 each, so if I take the 940 divided by the 55 figures I've sold in total, I'm roughly at $17 each per figure that I've sold so far, which to me is amazing, so hopefully I will sell more. Roughly looking at it, I did have roughly 280, so minus 55, I should have 225 figures left, so if I times that by $17 each, that is still roughly three, almost $4,000. Now, one thing I've learned was these figures are definitely slow movers. I thought they'd sell a lot faster, but I definitely am gonna be looking for more video games and comics because those sell a lot faster for me. Whereas these here, because they're larger and they have a more specific niche, they are moving a lot slower, but so far I am making a lot of my money back fairly quick. It's only been a couple weeks and I do have $940 in sales so far. Do have a long way to go to get back up to the $3,500 mark, which is what I paid for them. But I definitely think that the money is there and I will be able to make profits on this deal still. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.